Okay, this is my husband Mike, and we just got this hive jacket from Emerging Green, a company. They emailed us and asked us if we'd try out this new jacket for them. So Mike is uh, sporting this lovely jacket. Uh, it has a front pocket. You can see he's got his magnet in there so he can keep his hive tool attached to him. Um, <laughs> Yep, it's got a, a, I'd say two-thirds of the, of the, the veil where you can see through it with the mesh. Mm -hmm. Has a nice hat that keeps the mesh away from your face. The, the zipper for the veil is, uh, is only al along the front. Yeah, yep, it stops, the stops just at the top of his shoulders. Yep, here. right there. And then the sleeves do have elastic around the sleeves yep. to keep them nice and tight to you. They don't have the bungee that goes over the thumb to keep the sleeves in place. So if I went to reach... Oh, and now you can see skin. Okay. So this is uh, our honest review for this free product. Yep. And this is pre-inspection. This is, again, the first time he's worn it. So we'll see what he thinks about it before the inspection and then again after the inspection all right so what are your initial initial thoughts so wearing it right now the uh, fabric's super light and the breeze is coming right through it so it feels really nice like i i don't feel like um i don't feel like the wind is being stopped okay uh, it's very breezy uh, more than our ventilated jackets that we own and we'll show you those again in a minute yep uh, my concern is it is pretty thin, so if I do get stung, like, it's going to go through and penetrate. It may not stick to my skin, but it will penetrate the skin, inject me with the venom, and then the bee will leave or get stuck in this. So only one layer yep. of cloth. And then the pocket is good because it's in the front, but if I put anything in it, it pulls down on the hat or the, the, the veil. So mm -hmm. now, or the veil, yeah. So now it's like, unless I'm looking down the whole time it, and I try and look up, it's just gonna, mm. you know, make my head move, but the suit won't move. So it's, it's okay. I mean, I think this would be a really good uh, cheap jacket for like if you brought somebody out to the apiary and they were gonna observe. Okay, that's good to know. All right, we're going to get into our posh hive here, our war A, and we'll let you know what he thinks again about the jacket after our inspection. Okay, now that we've done our hive inspection, how do you feel about it? So, I I like it, I don't love it. Uh, with our bees, they're super uh, docile, non-aggressive, mm -hmm. not as defensive. So, getting stung through this, well, I didn't really test it because they didn't, they didn't get angry at me or defensive. So, 
That being said, I, I can't speak to the thickness yet. We're gonna do a couple more inspections and then we'll get back to you. But the the cool thing is the veil is actually hexagons. Oh, so really? As I'm holding up one of the frames, I'm looking through hexagons at hexagons on the on the wax frame. So that's <laughs> that was kind of neat. I noticed for a second there. Um, I, I talked about the pocket weighing weighing down the whole. Um, the whole jacket when I'm inspecting but I am looking down to pull out frames but then when I pick up the frames it still did like I had to kind of lift my shoulders in order mm. to make the whole jacket lean back because the the hat was being pulled down okay uh, one of the cool things about the hat that I noticed is it, it's like 90 degrees out today and I'm sweating but I don't know if they did it on purpose but there is an actual sweat band inside the uh, the hat so that the sweat is actually coming down the sides of my face and not into my eyes yeah. which typically I wear a hat under my you can see that nice sweat band right around there oh yeah because I'm sweating <laughs> oh yeah but uh, typically I have to wear a hat under my my jacket in order to keep the sweat out of my my eyes but overall very breezy mm -hmm. um I'd still only recommend it if if you had a visitor and they weren't going to really handle the hives but they were going to stand nearby uh, just because of the hat being pulled down if you I mean you're going to use the pockets I mean come on <laughs> and then uh, yeah and then the, I'm still not sure about the bee stings yet okay but we are going to get into a couple other hives and we'll come back to it This is our coffee hive. Mike taking some tape off. We put this last super on right before big rain, so we wanted to make sure nothing got in there before they could propolize. Okay. Ready to get this inspection going? Look at all these guys. Yeah. Very calm. So we're Very definitely nice. going to add another entrance. Probably just under the inner cover here. We have our mason jar experiment going on, so we can't put it on top of this, obviously, because we don't want bees in here except for in the mason jar. Alright. So here, hold on. Ooh, there we go. You can see all the bees in there. Okay. And they're washboarding from all the way up here at the top entrance. Down, 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 down. To the normal entrance and even bearding underneath that. Okay. So we're pulling jars off so we can take this inner cover off and get to our inspection. But check that out. The bees are actually drawing the wax out. You just couldn't see it from the, the side view. Alright. This might work after all. Woo! Okay, so we made the bees mad because they had some uh, brace comb. So the first frame that we pulled out was attached to the sidewall of the hive. So all of this nice honey that they have is now all over his hand and some very not happy bees. However, have you gotten stung? No. Not yet. Hope. Keep going after the honey. Hopefully uh, it stays that way. Try and move the jacket so it's covering my, my flesh. So the jacket did rise up at his wrists because he has these latex gloves on that don't go up super high on his arms. So in fact you can see right there. Put your hand back up. And you can see his watch here. There you go. Okay. So 
one potential concern is maybe the the sleeves aren't quite long enough or have enough give to them maybe yeah so. all right we're going to finish this inspection and we'll come back okay guys well, we had to cut the other inspection short I got stung a couple of times, but Mike did not. So tell us your final thoughts for this jacket. Okay, so overall, I didn't have any bees that I found that were actually trying to sting me through the jacket. So I still can't tell you if stingers go through or not. It just, it feels like it might. So I still recommend that uh, if you have somebody that's coming over just to view the hives or is interested in bees, maybe throw them in this. Um, as long as you're not in an area that has uh, the Africanized bees. And then um, the other thing, I was talking about how the the hood kept getting pulled down whenever I, I like lifted the frame or anything. Um, I put on a holster instead, and the belt keeps it keeps the jacket where I need it to be. So if you did end up getting one and you're looking for an answer, holster might be the way to go that way the belt keeps the jacket in one spot so and what's then... in your holster i have tool okay can we have a look let's look at that holster over there very simple okay yep. and the belt's nothing fancy nothing fancy all right anything else no um we don't have any other jackets so i can't really rate this one compared to any of the the other jackets that we've gotten to the review the jackets that we have i'm still going to rate higher than this one just because i'm used to wearing it and it's it's got pockets where i need them i can put my hive tool and my uh, magnet just up near my chest so i can always like get at it but um i think overall it's it's good for um you'll see a link in the description to amazon it's a 26 ish dollar jacket so i mean you get what you pay for and i think it's comfortable Okay. All right. And that's an emerging green jacket. Yep. All right. Thank you. Emerging green. Thanks.